Hello everyone. I am um, I'm in a position where I have a hundred thousand followers now across pretty much across YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. And when you're in a situation like that, um, it's very easy to abuse that power and that influence. And which is why I've given my channel away. Which is why I'm very happy to hear from you, the public. Not only just your contributions when it comes to the channel, but also your direction. Because I think. <sighs> The big issue here is the media. It's about media brands that you may have trusted before. And I am very, very, very keen to hear from people who are opposed to lockdown, but also are pro lockdown. My neighbor, you've seen him, Peter Whitehead, he's 88, and his daughter is uh, 56. She was a, a nurse at Heath Hospital in Cardiff and she's still suffering. She got coronavirus and she is still really struggling no, it's not just about people that um, don't like this res these restrictions on our freedom and choice. It's about the people that have been affected. And I will not allow my channel to be drowned with one particular voice. I, I'm not going to allow that. And I don't want that to happen. I want real, a real understanding, compassion and empathy towards all sides. Because that in that moment, when there is um, empathy, where there is understanding to how we're all dealing with the information we're hearing and trusting, and also the impact on those around you, the, the people that are, have been affected by this. At that moment, then we may be at a point where we can look forward to creating something that can get us out of this situation. Those who are scared about getting coronavirus, but also those who are scared about the loss of freedom and choice. You know, what, what I think doesn't matter. So many people keep saying, well, don't stop doing videos, Anna. We want to hear from you. We want your opinion. I will give my opinion, but it doesn't matter. Your opinion matters. You know, it it's changing as well. My opinion is changing because one day I'll hear something that will change my opinion. You'll hear something one day that will change your opinion. Don't be scared or frightened to change your opinion. You know, I've heard from people that today who've been very seriously affected by this virus, the long-term health impacts of the virus. But how does that weigh against, you know, other issues when it comes to, you know, the, the lack of joy, the lack of enjoyment uh, from going to a restaurant or a pub or you not being able to go swimming. So I've tried to book swimming with my son, but you've got to be over 14 or not being able to go to the cinema or, you know, the social distancing issues. So, you know, there are things that are affecting me and impacting my life all the time and every day. So my opinion really doesn't matter. Let's just make sure this channel is hearing from all voices. And when it comes to comments, everyone is treated with respect. That is essential, essential for me, absolutely essential for me, that everyone who contributes is treated with respect. All concerns are welcome. All, um, everyone who's been impacted. So you, you are like my neighbor and your daughter was a nurse and she's still struggling and suffering. Those, uh, the impact of this is affecting so many people. You are all welcome on the channel and all views and comments are welcome. If there's any abuse, then you will be uh, blocked because we need to find solutions. We are in a situation where if you've not been personally affected, you don't understand what's going on. But if you have been personally affected, then you do understand what's going on. And what stories are we hearing in the media? Are we hearing the stories about the virus and the long-term health impacts and how um, so many people are at risk? Are we hearing the stories about people who are not getting to hospital treatments who, um, you know, and I haven't been to the shops for four months, have got really serious issues when it comes to loneliness and social isolation. There's so many. There are so many. The impact on the economy. And today I've contacted um, large companies, the travel industry, the hospitality industry, the tourism industry. I don't really think their voice is being reflected. And I know people who work in corporate communications and media training and brand reputation are probably thinking, well, are we actually reflecting what the public are thinking right now? Is that is that being reflected in the trusted media brands such as Sky, BBC, Guardian, Telegraph, The Times? And 
I think government and the media will flow to the majority and uh, let this be a place where everyone is welcome, where all discussion is welcome. And, and thank you for watching. Thank you for enabling this channel to grow. I will put my platform out to you guys, but I want to make sure that it has a variety, a variety of opinion. And like I said, it's about your opinion. And you know, if we've, we're in a situation in England where mandatory masks have been brought in, a lot of people are very scared about mandatory vaccination. For me, I've heard so many people say, and politicians have been in touch with me, saying mandatory vaccination is something that that is the place where I'm, I'm not happy. That is the moment when I fight because, you know, I won't uh, accept compulsory vaccination. And I think we're all scared about wanting to travel, go on holiday and have to provide some kind of health passport, an indication of whether we've had a vaccine or not. And I, and I, I get a feeling that mandatory masks is a lot of people think it's, it's going to lead on to that. And it's a fear, a future fear. It is a future fear. So you're you're in a situation though where you have to listen. Please listen, please debate kindly, with empathy, with compassion and with courage. And be prepared to say I'm wrong. I'm changing my opinion here. Um, but here is a place where you are all welcome. And please continue to share your videos. Everyone is welcome.